You know how they say that things aren't always as they seem? Well, on this side, we have my sweet little innocent angel baby beautiful horse who's never done anything wrong in her entire life. And on this side, we have my heathen mare that constantly rolls in the mud and ends up looking like she lives in a pig pen. All jokes aside, she's heavily pregnant and it's almost spring and she's been rolling a lot in order to get her baby in place. But it looks like I have my work cut out for me today in the grooming department. PSA to all the horse people out there. It's shedding season. Don't wear chapstick. That is all. Whenever I have a five alarm grooming situation like this, I like to use a good grooming mitt, this little curry comb, she loves this on her butt, and a really sharp shedding blade. So now that I've got her looking a bit more presentable, it's time for introductions to you. I'd like for you to get to know Diva a little bit better. She's our eight year old thoroughbred mare. She retired from racing in 2021 and she had a very successful career on the track. <laughs> I can't remember how many races she ran in, um, but she earned over $200,000. And now her job is just to live in a pasture, live her best life, and be a mommy and get loved on and love me and yeah, you get it. But she's an absolute sweetheart. She's such a good girl. She's very level-headed, very kind, gentle, sweet. She's a fantastic mommy, too. Hi, sweet girl. Hello. <laughs> it's good to see you. Hi. Look how pregnant you're looking. You're getting fat. For those of you who've been following along, you'll know that this is Dash, Diva's son. He just turned a year old last year. And he and Diva had a very difficult time learning how to nurse last year. And it required some medical intervention. So I'll link that video for you below so you can go and watch it. She's at 320 days pregnant. And if history repeats itself, she's just two short weeks away from having the baby. We're watching her more closely now. Every day, a couple of times a day, she gets an overall wellness check. We have a look at her belly to see if that baby has dropped. As I said earlier, she's been rolling a lot to get that baby into proper position in the birthing canal. I then head south and go underneath to look at her udder. I check the fullness, I check the progression of the nipples. I look to see if there is any wax on the tips. This is going to be one of our biggest indicators as to how quickly this baby is coming. I also check the hind muscles, which is the croup area. These relax more as she gets closer, and that's just nature's way of making it easier for her to deliver. So I poke around there. She's definitely softening day by day, but she's still got a ways to go. I'm excited to try the full alert system for monitoring this year. The vet is coming next week to sew this little transmitter into her vulva and when the baby's feet pop out, that's going to send a signal that will call our cell phones and let us know that the baby's on the way. Obviously you should never rely on a foaling monitor completely. It should really only ever be used as a backup and a second set of eyes. Let me know in the comments if any of you out there have experience with this system and its pros and cons please. And of course, wouldn't you know it, the second she gets turned out again, what does she do? Rolls in the mud. I'm also looking for changes in her demeanor. Knowing your horse and her personality goes a long way as you're more likely to see signs that she could be close to foaling. So say if you have a good natured horse that starts acting out of character all of a sudden, pay attention to that. She's probably trying to tell you something. The next time you see Diva, she will hopefully have a sweet baby fool at her side. I really appreciate it if you could send some positive thoughts and prayers her way. And I need baby name suggestions too. Thanks guys.